Sutra. At that time, the heavenly ruler Chakra asked Dharma Wisdom Bodhisattva, disciple of the Buddha, what is the measure of the merit and virtue attained when a Bodhisattva first brings forth the Buddha mind? Commentary. This chapter discusses how much merit and virtue one has at the very first moment one brings forth the great body mind. After the Brahma conduct chapter was spoken, then the merit and virtue from first bringing forth the mind chapter was spoken. The heavenly ruler Chakra is the Lord God. The heavenly ruler Chakra is also called Indra or Chakra Devanam Indra. The names are different, but the person is the same. Chakra chief among gods. The heavenly ruler Chakra manages over all the heavens. He is also called the Lord of the Heaven of the Thirty Three. How did he become the heavenly ruler? Originally, the heavenly ruler Chakra was a woman, was a woman, a very poor woman, for who for a long time in the past had a good heart. She saw a Buddha image under the open sky, the roof of its temples in shambles and went away. She became resolved on renewing it and made a vow to do so. She didn't want the Buddha image to be under the open sky where it would blown by the wind and battered by the rain. But she didn't have any money, so at that time, she sought for others who had the same resolve as herself. She found 32 other women, and they together used their strength to gild the Buddha image. Each one of these 33 women gave a little money to fix up the temple and to regild the Buddha image. Because of the first women's merit and virtue, she later became the ruler of the heavenly of the 33, and the other 32 women became the 32 heavenly rulers. One of each of the eight heavens located in each of the four directions, east, west, north, and south, because she had renewed the, the Buddha image and repaired the temple, she was reborn in the heavens and became and became the heavenly ruler Chakra. This god, the heavenly ruler Chakra, asked Dharma Wisdom Bodhisattva, what did he say? Disciple of the Buddha, what is the measure of the merit and virtue attained? How much is his merit and virtue when a Bodhisattva Brings, first brings forth the body mind. In response to a question on fasting, you don't want to drink too much water while fasting. Each day only drink a single cup of water. You can't drink too much. It is best to sit in meditation and recite the mantra. Don't think about whether you are eating or not. It is best to be able to enter samadhi. Not eating things is just smelting your indestructible vara body. If common people don't eat for seven days, they will certainly die. The first fast is 18 days, which is about three weeks. The second fast is 36 days, that is five weeks without eating things. If you can keep up this practice, you are cultivating patient. What was said before had a lot of principle. The mind fills up the wound. If your mind is without any fighting, then the wound is peaceful and the wound worse will be eradicated. Why isn't the wound peaceful now? Because each person has a heart of greed and everyone only wishes to benefit himself. And so jealousy, obstructions, arrogance, and all kinds of faults arise. If you don't have a heart of greed, then the world is peaceful. If each person didn't have a heart of greed, then no one would fight with anyone else. Basically, fasting does not necessarily make the world peaceful. 
It's just a method. Do the best that you can, nothing more. If you can do the best you can in every respect, and if you don't harm people in the world, that's good. You want to have a sincere heart, yet it's not certain that you will be successful. That is, it is not certain that you will be able to cause the world to be peaceful. Nobody can ensure it. If you want to be able to cause the world to be without war, then every person must himself or herself be without greed in body and mind. Without greed, there is no war because the world's wars are brought about by people's greed. The reason for wars is that opposing sides seek an advantage at the expense of the others. They think I want to gain something, so I take the other side's gains for myself. Because of this, there are wars. But if you don't have a heart of greed, then all places will be without wars. If every person had no heart of greed, the whole world would be without wars. Question: In Christianity, in the Bible, I believe what Jesus said. Nevertheless, not my will, but thy be done. We are creating our circumstances in the world. We are constantly creating our world, so that should we exercise our own will and cause things to happen, and to what they mean. Should we just allow things to happen? Answer: The world has not been created by anyone, not by any person, or by any good, by 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 any god, not by any bodhisattva, and not by any Buddha. Heaven and earth have their own life. Now, this question is about where the limits of the world. The limits of the mind and the limits of the drama realm are, but none of these have a limit. If you force it and say there is limits, then their limits are in space. But since they are in space, you cannot find limits there. If you want to find there are limits from the time you are born until you die, you won't be able to find them. Because of this, what use is there in seeking these limits? They fundamentally don't exist. So that, are you doing? What are you doing by looking for them? Sutra, Dharma Wisdom Bodhisattva said, "This principle is deep and profound. It's difficult to express and to know. It's difficult to discriminate and difficult to believe and understand. It is difficult to be certified to it and difficult to practice." It is difficult to penetrate and difficult to consider. It is difficult to measure and difficult to enter. Commentary: Dharma Wisdom Bodhisattva said, "This heavenly ruler Chakra had asked Dharma Wisdom Bodhisattva about the merit and virtue from first bringing forth the body mind. In China, it is always said." Merit and virtue is immeasurable. Although it is immeasurable, he asks about its measure. This, of course, means he doesn't understand. Therefore, the Dharma Wisdom Bodhisattva told him, "This principle is deep and profound. It's difficult to express. This principle is deep and profound. It's more profound than profound." Difficult to express means that it is not easy to speak about, and difficult to know. It means that it's both hard to speak and about too hard to know. It's difficult to discriminate and difficult to believe and understand. I use your conscious mind to try to discriminate it. You'll be unsuccessful. If you can't discriminate it, then you can't know it. And if you can't know it, how could you speak about it? It's also not easy to believe and not easy to understand. It is difficult to be certified to it. It's not easy to realize. 
uh, and difficult to practice. This married and virtual is also not easy to practice. It is difficult to penetrate. It is also not easy to penetrate it without obstruction and difficult to consider for the mind and consider it is also not easy. It is difficult to measure. If you use the ruler to measure out how wide it is, how big it is, or how long it is, it's not easy to do and difficult to enter. This kind of merit and virtual is not easy. If you answer for you to enter by means of number, that is you will have difficult figuring out ultimately how much it is. It is not easy to do this, but there is no method you can to fathom its dimensions. Sutra. Although this is the case, I have received the Buddha's awesome spiritual power and will explain this for you. Disciple of the Buddha, suppose there is a person who uses all kinds of musical instruments to make offerings to all the living beings in Assam Yaya world systems in the East, doing so for one kampa. And afterwards, he teaches those living beings to purely uphold the five precepts. Then he does the same in the south, west, north, the intermediate directions above and below. Discrimination Disciple of the Buddha, what is your opinion? Does this person have much merit and virtue? The heavenly ruler Chakra said, Disciple of the Buddha, only the Buddha can know this person's merit and virtue. All others are unable to fathom it. Commentary Drama Wisdom Bodhisattva said, Although this is the case, before I said that the merit and virtue from first bringing forth the body mind is deep and profound and not easy to know. Even with analogies, it is still not easy to know. It is also not easy to believe. Living beings believe in what is deviant. They don't believe in what is proper. They believe in false and not in the true. They believe in the false and not in the true. They believe in the bad and not in the good. You explain the true and proper Dharma, Buddha Dharma to them and they don't listen to it. But you want to talk to them about sex, false speech, slander, and derisive speech, then they are really happy. So it's sad. If one's rules are deep, one hears good speech. If one's evil is heavy, one hears wrong speech. When people with rules first arrive at Gold Mountain Monastery, they don't want to go. Although there is no food to eat and no water to drink, they don't want to leave. They feel like they've returned home. People without gurus come and they feel it's very cool and so they run away. This is a case is point if one rules one's rules a deep one hears good speech. If one's evil is heavy on his wrong speech, those who have bad karma like to hear improper God words. So those who come to go to mountain monastery or have good rules. Yet some people who come to go to mountain monastery don't know the rules and are very casual. They still have the bad habits of lay people which they haven't yet cast off. They haven't changed their forms. If your bad habits and forms haven't been left behind, then your fundamental wisdom is able to manifest. Dharma Wisdom Bodhisattva said, Before I said it was so difficult to understand the merit and virtue from first bringing forth the Buddha mind. However, I have now received Shakyamuni Buddha's grit some spiritual power and will explain this for you. I will clarify the vastness of this merit and virtue. Disciple of the Buddha, Dharma Wisdom Bodhisattva is talking to the heavenly ruler Chakra, who also 
he is the heavenly ruler, has a, also taken refuge with the triple jewel. He's taken refuge with the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. So he calls him disciple of the Buddha. Suppose there is person. Suppose suppose means basically there isn't such a person, but let us suppose there is such a person who uses all kinds of musical instruments to the east to make offerings to all the living beings in Assam Kiaya world systems in the east. The east is where Shobhya Buddha's world system is. In the east, there are Assam Kiaya world systems. What are Assam Kiaya world systems? Assam Kiaya is Sanskrit translated it means limitless number. There are limitless numbers of world systems in the East, in the immeasurable numbers of beings. The person above offers all kinds of musical instruments to all of the immeasurable believing beings in immeasurable numbers of world systems. Doing so for one karma. What is compa? 